Salut, my comrades. Welcome back to Euphoria. Let's play Euphoria. Um, let's see. I believe we're on episode 7. Yep, chapter 7. So. Containment. Our progress is blocked by a giant asteroid. Find a way to break through. Conquer all asteroids and make us proud. <coughs> I have a terrible, terrible cough, so... It's been going around the workplace for a while. So... I think this is the level where you want to expand into the area to the right. Before attacking this planet. Asteroid thing. Because that one's tough to crack. But I want to talk about the, uh quality of my videos and such, and just progress in general on my channel. I've noticed some problems with my videos where when I play them back in HD, um, they start flickering or just the videos fuck up in some way. And it's really annoying and I didn't know what was causing it. But I think I've tracked down the reasoning behind it, which is the way I'm exporting it and forcing it to 60 frames per second, which apparently YouTube doesn't like, especially if you're watching in Chrome. So with that, I found a second uh, <laughs> exporting method that I think will actually work a bit better. We're waiting on a seedling, so I'm gonna speed it up a bit. But yeah, so this video will be proof of that. In fact, give me a moment. Okay, I can't access like quality options and such from the uh, in-game menu. Maybe I can get at it in the main menu, but that'll require deleting this save. The reason I want to do that is because another problem I've been having is with resolution and screen size. The video crops in a weird way if I don't record it at a specific resolution. And that's a result of my um, software that I use to export. What is that? This thing is huge. Is that a seedling? What kind of planet is this? How weak are our planets? We're pretty good on the strength. I guess we just look small because we got low energy. But that's energy's not that high. And this one's even lower, so I don't get what that thing was was big though. It's the scariest thing ever. You just seeing a massive freaking bug. I actually had one the other day at work. I had to pick it up with like a piece of paper and let it outside. Just like this gigantic beetle. Like not gigantic gigantic like you find in a fucking rainforest or something, but I mean like the thing was bigger than a quarter. Like it was over an inch long. From like foot to antenna. Trying to reel back into... Oh, hello, that's probably where it came from. We'll attack this planet here. Trying to reel back into what I was talking about, though, if the video is not cropped in a specific way. Um, I'll just mess up the cropping in the YouTube video and it'll make, like, a box that then I have to go and fix by adding, like, formatting tags or crap and such. Um, and that's a result of the software that I'm using to export, which is really finicky about the way you do it. It doesn't allow video stretching, it allows video cropping, it allows zooming and such, but it doesn't like to like stretch the video. So if you record a video in any um, resolution, any aspect ratio other than 16 by 9, then it's going to add black bars. like to the actual video that you will then be uploading to YouTube. And then YouTube will see that and try to add even more black bars to it. Because, let's see, how the hell do I explain this? It's already in, a, like, the video that you've uploaded, black bars and all, requires black bars to be added because it's still not a correct aspect ratio. So, it, you already have the black bars on the side, that your editing software automatically put in for you 
and then you have YouTube adding more to the top and bottom. So the actual video that you're trying to show to people ends up in like a little tiny box on the screen. If you aren't recording the actual game in a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. And I can't figure out how to get Fraps do to force a 16 by 9 aspect ratio aside from just setting the game's internal settings to it. And some games, including Euphoria, don't allow screen resolution options. So, with a game like this, you kind of just hope that Fraps records it correctly enough. If I understand these beacon plants correctly, I can click them all and sort of tell my guys to just go that way. And then they'll all group up here. <laughs> Clearly not prepared for this uh, session. I didn't set a timer once again. And I'm sick. My, sorts of throat. my throat's all hoarse and such. I'm on the verge of coughing every other second. But I want to upload these videos with some amount of cons cons consistency. And I've missed uh, days here and there where, like, I've gone for four or so days without uploading anything. And I want to try to avoid doing that in the future. Found a powerful asteroid. Seedlings with higher energies are best at sapping asteroid field. Okay, that's another thing. I don't know if I mentioned it early in the playlist because I'm recording like four different Let's Plays simultaneously. But wow, they are just decimating my units. Are they all gathering up here? We need reinforcements. Okay, it seems the beacon trees are indeed working correctly. But yeah, on that note. Um, <laughs> oh wait, did we kill it? We did kill the planet. Okay, so this bar here, which you probably already figured out, is for you have done well. High energy seedlings defeat any asteroid core. Now take over the rest of the asteroids. Again, this mother tree is getting pushy. But, um, what do you call it? This bar here, it pretty much represents, like, the health of the planet that you are attempting to conquer. I'm actually going to put two minefields here because in order to get to the rest of my, mm, I'll call it a ah, kingdom, a couple duchies, whatever. Too much Crusader Kings too. But in order to get to the rest of my holdings, they have to come through this asteroid. So you bulk your defenses up here and you don't have to worry. I'm gonna see if I can actually shift the beacon trees and see if those will work correctly. I don't know if I finished my thought. Yeah. So, higher energy plants, such as this one, will sap away the health of an asteroid much, much quicker than any other seedling. Which, I presume, is the strategy behind this planet. Charging in at this asteroid is going to get you killed, but if you go hopscotching across all these low energy planets you get to this very high energy planet with a lot of speed that'll get your guys across the universe really fast and there you go level done uh, let's see if we can get about a third to each one I just sent all my guys that way Might be able to just sort of rush our way through the rest of the system. At it with how fast I'm conquering these other asteroids. Yeah, that might do it. So yeah, I'm going to see how well this video turns out, and if recording it on the different, if exporting it on the different setting um, turns out okay, it'll just be a matter of literally taking down every video on my channel and then 
re-exporting it and re-uploading it, which is going to be a pain in the ass, but I'm going to have to do it at some point. Okay, they took my planet back over because I was trying to rush through the end of the level again. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, I think I still have the um, all the videos. I don't think I've deleted any videos except for ones I didn't plan on using in the first place. Like, I recorded some extra Five Nights bits that I'm never going to, like, actually use in the final production of any video. Let's send only half the guys this time. So, yeah, I might have deleted some stuff, and if that's the case, then I'll just leave the old ones up in their, um, current state. My first ever Let's Plays being at non-1080p, most people are going to understand that, I presume. So is that the last planet? Yeah. It has a lot of mine trees from what I can tell. But we have 94 seedlings over here, so this might do it. Unless they fucking counterattack again. No, I think we're good. No, there's clearly an attack going on here. I don't know what the hell's going on. Can we at least kill one of these trees? <laughs> I just sent two guys over there from that planet. Again. <laughs> taking some time to get used to this wheel, but I can really see the advantage to it, like if you want to split your guys about evenly between three planets, you cut it up into thirds or so. Which is harder to do with the little ring thing they had before. Oh, I think we finally got it, and I think that's game. Game? No. Do I not own something? Oh, there's one little asteroid down here I never got to. Is it even habitated? Okay, that'll do it for this level. It is done. Your victories make the mother tree grow strong. Yet yeah, we have encountered more aggressors. Oh my god. <laughs> What lies further ahead? I am so sorry, I can't narrate in this state. Nor can I do a Let's Play, so we're gonna call it an episode. And I'll see you guys later. Thank you all for joining me. Sayonara.